whole bunch on here. Ten questions, ten questions, fifteen questions. Sorry about that, guys. Just got to drop. That's all. No biggie. So do you all remember your nursery rhymes? Let's hope so. How is everybody? No, but thank you. I didn't see it. I uh, was actually in a taxi when you came on, Crystal. My van is in the shop. So we had to take taxi home. So sometimes it drops out, but I'll go watch it later. <clears throat> hey, Karen. Psycho Ducky. Oh, my God. How are you? Glad to see you. How are you? How's the fires? Yeah, it's, um, Found out, we thought it was a blown rod, but it's not. Actually, what was making a loud ticking noise was the alternator. So, they're going to put a new alternator in. They're going to do a tune-up on it, do a couple other things with it. So, we'll be without it for a while, but we'll manage. But otherwise, we're okay. Still watching that storm. I don't know. Tired and hungry. Hungry for what? Food, feed me. <laughs> That's funny, Karen. Ha ha, I just read that again. Now, this, that's what I thought it was, was because of the, the low oil, but the idiot light never went on. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Everything, all, all the other sensors work. Okay. Hey, Amber Ann. Yeah, beef stew. Yummy. So, yeah, we're doing all right. Can't complain. Guys, I'm going to drop this out for a second. Just hang on. And no, come here, buddy. No, come here. Uh-uh. Get in there. I got you. Just watch it. Oh, yeah. Then you better lay it set. You better lay down. No, you better lay down. No, stop. Okay, stop. that's good. Stop. Hopefully this will hold. Stop. There's more than one way to do this. It held. Jeremy, it was dropping it because I had, didn't have to get the right rod Wi-Fi on. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's a uh, little, little buddy with his little... Chew toy. Nyla bone. bone. So he's bouncing around with it. Hey, Melissa. How are you? Okay, it's holding. Yeah, do you want to help move the body? <laughs> See? My other Tennessee shirt. Long sleeve. 
I look like a creamsicle. Hey, Kenneth. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to Trivia Night. How are you? I look like a big creamsicle. And Buddy almost ate my Tennessee hat. Holy crap. Bunny's like, you has got your hat. I'm good. We're okay. Hey, Carla. So, cold, but no wind. Very little wind today. Wasn't bad. Hey, Cherry. Yeah, I went, Danielle, here's one for you. I went to upload a video tonight, which is about a little less than about, what's well, 10 minutes and 20 some odd seconds long. And because everybody must be uploading tonight, lo and behold, 20 minutes, hey, Dan, 29 minute upload time. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> I stopped the upload. How are you, Dan? Yeah, I'm in my Tennessee prison orange. You're right, Carla. Orange water. Thanks, Kenneth. All right. No numbers on that storm, guys. I've been all day on and off, just every hour on the hour, checking to see if the numbers come in. Nothing. Nada. Zeros. All the way in the columns. So I'm like, well, can't put that in the formula. Just come out zero. Yeah. How cold is it, Dan? Oh, it just dropped again. Uh, it's the alternator. Japan release Coke, strawberry, really? It's the alternator, so talk to Mikey. It's going to do a tune up, or not a tune up, going to do the inspection on it. There's a couple other things I have to have him fix. So, but we'll be all right. Be without a van for, for a while, but we'll be okay. <laughs> all right, I'll read it, but without the WT, I've. Uh, Carla says, ready for this? Hard freeze warning for the next couple nights when wind chills at 15 WTH. <laughs> 25 degrees. Wow. Hey, Pam. 25 degrees. That's a, uh, one of Bonnie's co-workers. She's like, I'm freezing. I'm going to go to Florida. I said, so you can go freeze there too? He says, what do you mean? Even down in the Keys, it's like 40s and 50s. So I'm like, yeah, woohoo. Now, a little pricey, but I mean, it's an older van. Who do you? Hey, BTD. Yeah, this is my long sleeve. This is when every year at Christmas uh -uh. much time. Come here, buddy. Are you kidding me? Come here, buddy. No, no, I'm not. No. No. I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get no. him. No. No. I will get him. I am not. No. 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 He's a demanding little fella. Oh, my God. Okay. You need to be on camera. I don't want kisses. Do you want to see everybody there? There's everybody. Say hello. Okay. Yes, kisses. Yeah, lots of kisses. And. Oh, man. And Buddy just tied. Okay. The begin. That was Buddy's paw. You take this, please. I'll take this. Right. Somebody just taped the big it up. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt your ears. <laughs> so, good news is, Bonnie ordered me a new cam. Should be in in the next week. Big baby, he's a pain in it. Yes. I think it's dog speak, not sure. 
Actually, what I've been doing is a research. I've never been to any of the museums in... Yeah, I think... Leave gone. Hey, welcome. How are you? That'd be really kind of neat, wouldn't it? Never thought about it, Karen, to be honest with you. Karen says she wants me to overdub the, bu the, the buddy speak. <laughs> Should hear him when he sounds like Chewbacca. Oh, I got to get this, this on camera. Um, when we're sitting here having dinner or breakfast or lunch or whenever we have food, he's gotten to a point he sounds like Chewbacca. With that, that house, it's horrible. You think he's dying that we don't feed him. How are you, Leaf? And welcome. Bertillon <laughs> shook. Oh my God! What a day. No, no, he need the GoPro. Nope. She'll be here in a few minutes, guys. She's just getting coffee. Melissa says, strap a GoPro to his head and leave for 30 minutes. See what Buddy gets into. Oh, you have no clue. No. I love you, but nope. Carl wants to know how you're feeling. Okay, okay. Well, welcome. Thank you, Cherry. You know, it's funny because I've actually seen videos of dogs with GoPros strapped to them. So I'm, I thought to myself, oh, come on, Dad, it'd be a great vlog. Yeah, but I actually have seen GoPros on, on, like, their heads. They strap them in, and there's a strap thing you hook to. Hey, Lulu. So, yeah. No, there's no mods in here yet. Karen is. What do you mean there's no mods? There's tons of mods. <laughs> oh. Hey, you gotta be safe. So the research, like I said, I've never been to New York City, but I want to go to one of the um, museums in New York. How many people here know about the Gates of Babylon? Really? No, I didn't see that, Carla. But anyway, the gates of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, about 423, 429 A.D. Now, anyway, and whatnot stuff. It was in Iraq, Iran. Uh, they dug it up 1930s. Um, it, it's, I'll have to do the vlog for you guys, but it's just really, really interesting of how they built it. Even for that time, it's like amazing. I'm working on it. It's okay. How are you, Lulu? So how are you, Pam? Oh. Yeah, it, it is, Carly. It's it's amazing because actually, even where BTD actually there is the biggest part of a BTD, believe it or not, is in the British Museum somewhere. There's parts in the but the biggest part with that has the lions and. The dragon and something else that that's part of their religion, their gods or whatever, is actually the biggest parts in the in the museum. 
Good to hear. You're welcome. Everybody working for the weekend. Don't get me started with that. I get stuck in my head, Pam. So, yeah, I, it's just really, really kind of interesting uh, of how they built this and why they built it and how big it was. Unbelievable. And nobody knows why? Well, it was because it was of a processional east wall. It's you have to read it. Diddy. I'll have to look that up, Karen. But yeah, it's really, really interesting and exactly how they built this brick by brick and how they did it was amazing for that time. Yeah, Carla. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks, Melissa. Where are the... It's in pieces now. Pieces of it all over the world in museums. But the big buttress piece, actually... Thanks, Vince. Hi, Vince. Um, the biggest piece is, is in a museum in London somewhere. It's so big they can't show it. It's like that big. Yeah. Unbelievable. How are you, Vince? So that's that's research in there, but I really would love to go do a vlog on that someday. That'd be really kind of cool. Yeah, they piece that, that yeah. They pieced them out to museums all over the world, but if you guys get a chance, just Google the Gates of Babylon, right, and actually, and click on it to read. It's marvelous. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> Take your time. It's okay. Everybody's talking. So, yeah, it's just really fascinating, some of the stuff there. I love history. Hey, Jason, good evening. How are you? Yeah, I saw that, Carla. They want to bring the Titanic up. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that. Is that controversial, like they shouldn't? What? Well, because, it, I mean, it's it's basically, it's like, like bringing up a, a grave site. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of kind of like, really? Just leave it where it lies, you know? I mean, do you think about it? They, they brought up, like, the plates and all the, all the artifacts, so why are you going to bring up the ship at this point? Stupid. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, I saw that. I, I agree. I just leave it where it lies. You know? Leave it where it lies. Hi, everybody. I'm here, finally. Oh, my gosh, so many people. Yeah, that that's the biggest problem, Danielle, I have with that. You know, I mean, to bring it up... And I mean, figure out, you'd have to desalinate it, the whole, that's massive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, leave it where it lies. <coughs> Amen. Amen, Carla. Yeah. You know, that's that's the big thing of anything like that. And bringing it up like that, you've got massive problem. That's that's beyond anything I could even think of to try to do that. That's nuts. 
rusticles. Well, yeah, and it's also a metal-eating bacteria. Did you now leave? That's cool. Ha, ha, ha. That is true, Vince. That is true. Sorry, right, Amber. So, Amber, my van, it's the alternator and the ring inside the alternator where the bearings are. Sayonara. <laughs> so, I throw the wrench at him, Daniel. Yeah, Carl, exactly. Exactly. You know, leave her where she lies. That's that's fine with me. I mean, like I said, we, you know, they have all over world or wherever it is, they have all the all the articles and stuff that they salvage. So, you know, why would you want to bring it up? All quiet on the home front, Cherry. Yep. So whenever you're ready, and okay. get this. So do you all remember your nursery rhymes? I hope. All right, everybody. We are going to do five-card trivia. Amber, if I had it, I'd send it to you, honey. Trust me. Yeah, well, That's my van's going to be sitting at the garage till I can, too, so... Karen said a product. <laughs> cute, Karen, cute. Um, we are going for anybody new here. I think we do have a few new people. Karen, can you put up the rolls, please, if you Welcome. would? Welcome. I'm, I'm, we'll say them, too, but Karen, yes, please. Um, hey, Tanya. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to Tuesday Night Trivia. Tonight's Hi, trivia Welcome. is nursery rhymes. Hi, Lee. Welcome. Trivia. And to all our family, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, Dan, love you. Be safe. Have a good Stay night, warm. Dan. Hey, Peaches Pitbull. Ball. Hey, Peaches. All right, we are going to do five card trivia. The topic tonight is nursery rhymes. Um, thank you, Melissa. Thanks, Melissa. If you know the answer, please type an X. Bob will call out your name in the order in which the X's come up. Please wait for your name to be called. Um, and if you get the answer correct, we will pull a card for you. Um, I will keep track of who has what cards. We will show they you your cards. And at, if you, um, get five questions right and you get five cards, you sit out the rest. It gives everybody else a fair shot. Um, cause some people are really quick on that X. And then at the end oh, of the questions... Sleeps. I will read back everybody who has five cards, um, and the top hand will win a $5 Amazon gift card. Thank you, Karen. I just knocked my head off. Hey, Rhonda, look, orange water. Water. Hey, Rhonda. I know I didn't say hey to everybody individually, but you know. We have a few new people. Yes, we do have a few new people. Leaf gone. I think that's his name. Yep, Leaf is here. Leaf gone. Hey, Leaf, I'm going to ask a question. You don't have to answer, but how did you get your screen name? That's really kind of interesting. Leaf gone. And for any new people, how did you find us? Thank you, Carla. Carl, a little cold. Do you want my heavy I'm not blanket? Not the best at direction giving, so I appreciate the support, folks. All right, Karen, welcome back. Uh, both my pens are gone. No. Yeah. No. Is there one over there? No. Uh, no. I'm sure there is. No. Not here. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta find a pen. Granddaughters do do homework, and they always bring back the pens. I always keep two pens right here on my keyboard. 
Hang on one second, folks. Leaf Garrett? Who hit a tree? Oh, Leaf. Hit a tree. Where'd he go? Leaf is a woman. Okay. Well, hello, Leaf. Welcome. Oh, something happened. Hold on. What did you do? My chat's messed up. Okay. All these emoji th Okay, I have to refresh. Give me two seconds. Wow, I'm so oh, found the pen. Okay, so okay. I have to refresh. Welcome, Ta uh, Tanya. Cool. Okay, I'm trying to refresh. Hey, hey, guys. Did you find a pen? I found a pen, but my... Uh, refresh it. Or screen locked up in my chat. Hey, Jeremy. Like hundreds of emojis, so... How are you, Jeremy? I'll be right with you, folks. That's cool. I like it. Ha <laughs> ha, you're funny, Melissa. I missed it. Oh. So, Karen in Canada, how's your weather up there, hon? Cold here. <laughs> Thought maybe she hit a tree. I'll never live the tree down. Ever. No, you will not. Ever. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> And for our new folks that may not know me, I'm Bob. Or Bob, I'm Bob. You're Bob. <laughs> oh, it's been one of those Okay, days, what's folks. in Bonnie's Please. coffee? Anybody want to guess? No, it's just been one of those days. I'm Bonnie, the other half of Misfits. And you really don't see me. You will hear me, though. Oh, or the towel. No, Amber and he will never live that towel down, either. Amber, stop at the oh, top. Oh, okay, Cherry, okay. <laughs> Love you You're anyway, honey. You're Cherry's best friend. Amber, how's Steven? Melissa says, I'm bummed. It's okay, Bob. You didn't hurt You're the Bob, too. There you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Bailey. That too funny. It has been that kind of a day. No Baileys. No Baileys in my coffee. Although I remember drinking Baileys in my coffee. I am not, Carla. That's the sad part. I do not drink. She doesn't drink. Not at all, but holy lord, you'd think I did. Okay, that's fine. Bob Go ahead, Richard, Carla. Melissa, really. Glad to hear he's doing well, Amber. The Father's Day the speed speedo vlog. Well, Don't start God. that either. <laughs> Bonnie's the producer. Oh, too funny elsewhere. Lori, I did get your message. Yes. Thank you for front, for uh, adding. The towel incident. You start, Peaches. Oh, Peaches. That was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. BTD's like, Bob's live in a towel. I was like, oh, crap. I'm like, Bob, you're live. What? Shut, he shut that thing down so fast. Not thank fast God, enough, thank, apparently. Not fast enough, but thank God for BTD. Because <coughs> imagine if he wasn't around. With the tree mafia. Oh, you're funny, Pitbull. That that's funny. Oh, I used to love Kahlua. Cabernet yeah. Sauvignon. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh Yeah, it was hysterical I, now, but it wasn't funny then. Oh, I thought it was hysterical then. Poor BTD. Thank God he had the towel on. Yes, you, yes, you did very quickly. That was that stupid program that was behind the other one. I was like, oh, damn. No, you were trying to test the the camera or the I website. I don't remember, or the website the or something. But, yeah, it was oh. bad, really quick. Uh, woo. Oh, you're funny. Ha, 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 Karen. Oh, I know. <laughs> Ron, that's too funny. It literally was seconds, but I guess that was enough. Yeah, tall incident. Oh, my God. <laughs> he had no clue he was live. Or that was it. We were having trouble going live or something, right? Yes, and there was a program I was using that was behind my, my other yeah. stream. 
yeah. which was behind the YouTube for whatever reason it kicked it. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't have that program anymore. <laughs> Didn't I say Bob BTD says you're live or something? I don't even remember. Like a horror movie. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god, Karen. Fun. You're just funny, Vince. <laughs> I'll read Karen's. Bob was like a Woody Woodpecker experiment. That's the tree one. That's funny. Oh my word. Really, Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> Can't look away. Oh, um, BTD. What? And they had it on the 60 inch screen. <laughs> Oh, that just had to be scary as hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I said it had to have uh, to do with the tree, Rhonda. It absolutely was the tree. For that, I apologize, guys. Oh, that was so funny. I never saw you so red. You turned red. You were redder than red. Yeah, I was. it was bad. <laughs> No more going live in Talls. Oh, God. All right, guys. You ready? <sighs> All right. You know what? <clears throat> All right, guys. I can no longer see the screen because I'm going to be on the <coughs> trivia screen. So you all feel free to talk about me. Pardon me. me. It's all good. We're all, we're all okay. Okay. Part one. Thanks, Melissa. Part one is questions about nursery rhymes. <coughs> so you let me know when everybody is ready. You ready? And I will do question one. All right, let's do. We need answers, Karen. All right, question number one. Where did old Mother Hubbard go to find food for her dog? Let's see if they answer it. Where did old Mother Hubbard go to find food for her dog? If you know the answer, put an X. X, please. All right, so it's Rhonda, Vince, Jason, Crystal, okay. elsewhere, Amber Ann, Peaches, and Melissa. Go ahead, Rhonda. And Cherry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Carla, but that was funny. She says, I'm back. Had to chase a huge wolf spider. Oh, my God. Seriously? Oh, my God, those things would freak me out, Carla. She hit it with a shovel. God bless you. I've seen pictures. Yep, Ronnie got it covered, but it was bare. Frankie. Wait, no, where did she go to find food? No. Old Mother Hubbard went to the... Not the cupboard. Not the cupboard? Not the cupboard. Okay, it wasn't the cupboard. Where did Old Mother Hubbard go to find food for her dog? Vince, you're next. I don't know that I recall this verse, but I'll read it when everybody's done. Next, Vince. <coughs> Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to give her dog a bone. Where did she go to find food for her dog? Oh, okay. Where did she go to find food for the dog? Where did she go to find food for the dog when the cupboard was bare? Yeah, but Carla, aren't they like wolf spiders, like super poisonous and very big and disgusting? And it's okay, Tiny.
Any guesses? Anybody. And I need a power cord. In three. I'm only half there. Oh, so. well, sure. In two. Okay. <coughs> Old Mother Hubbard Thanks. went to the cupboard of such. To such yes. Right, but when the cupboard was bare. Bare. So, where did Old when Mother Hubbard When she got Hubbard there, the, the cupboard was bare. She went to the baker's. She went to the baker. So it says she went to the baker's to buy him some bread, but when she came home, the poor dog was, was dead. dead. So that that was that was. <laughs> baker's. Yep, Vince got it. Oh, he did get it. Yeah. Before I read it. Okay. All right, Vince. Oh, they're not poisonous. Uh, Vince, nine of diamonds, Vince. You. Nine of diamonds. Hang on, guys, because I have to write everything down. Put it down, wolf spider. I don't know if they're bad. Ah, they are squishy. Oh my god! I don't want squishy spiders. That's gross. Okay, question number two. What did the three little kittens lose? Three little kittens. What did they lose? I remember those, Danielle. I'll have to look that up later. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, the original nursery rhymes are very cruel and very dark. Amber Ann. Rhonda. Karen from Canada. Karen's story. Okay, Amber Ann. Go ahead, Amber. Like I said, it. we didn't say, we said fairy tales. We didn't say it was going to be easy. Oh. <laughs> Ten pounds of nope and a two pound box. Oh, Carla. Oh, I gotta get a bump mittens. She got it. And that is leaf? Le no. Amber yes. Ann. Oh, Amber Ann. Mittens, yep. What do we have? Amber. Case of clubs. Alright. Like I said, they weren't gonna be easy. I just said they were fairy tales. Well that one was easy. Go. Next. Question number three. In this little piggy, which toe had roast beef? Hey, Nathan. Thanks. In question three. In hey, this, Nameless. In this little piggy, which toe had roast beef? Are they multiple choices? No. No, but I will try to find... But this is only part one. Amber Ann. I'll try to find multiple choices for part two, Karen. Amber Amber. Go ahead, honey. How are you, Nameless? How was your day? I'm welcome. Tuesday night trivia. But you know how to play this trivia. Go ahead, Amber. It was Amber and then Karen. Which toe had roast beef in this little piggy? The third one. That is correct. Who is that? Amber. Amber, four spades. Okay. There you go. Question number four. How many bags of wool did Bob Bob Black Sheep have? Bob Bob Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris, guy, what's up? How are you? No, I have no idea. Hey, Chris. You know the answer, put an X. If it comes up first, then one that'll call on you. Hey, Nameless. Hey, Crisco. Anyone else that's come in since I'm not on the screen? Rhonda. No. Amber Ann. Amber Ann, Rhonda, Jason, Carla, Karen. Wow. Let's go ahead, Amber. Cold down there, Crisco? Bet it is. Three. 
<laughs> that is correct. Queen of Diamonds. That was Amber. That was my Amber. Cherry, drop out. Come back in. Okay. I'll bet it was, Crisco. It's cold all the way down. And question number five. In Bye Baby Bunting, why had Daddy gone hunting? I don't know that one. That one's way. Yeah, there's some old ones. Some that I am not sure I know. But in Bye Baby Bunting, why had Daddy gone hunting? Thanks, Karen. It's cold, but I'll give you good news, guys. Anybody that's in the South, probably, okay, elsewhere. What? <laughs> what? Amber goes, what? Either I. Crystal, okay, so it's elsewhere, then Crystal. <coughs> Why did Daddy go hunting? Why did Daddy go on hunting? And buy baby bunting. I don't know that one. Does anybody have an X? Yeah. Elsewhere okay. and then Crystal. To get a little rabbit skin to wrap the baby bunting. Absolutely correct. Who was that? Elsewhere. Three diamonds. All right, Elsewhere. I would have never known that. I don't even know that nursery rhyme. Three dots. All right. Way to go. Okay. Either of I, Amber, Ann. <laughs> You're with me, honey. <laughs> That's a little bit a little morbid. Yeah, I guess. Question number six. I'm not sure I know this one. Melissa, yeah. drop out. Drop back in. Question number six. Which was the second creature to be swallowed by the old lady who swallowed a fly? Nursery rhyme is the old lady who swallowed a fly. What was the second thing to be swallowed by the old lady who swallowed the fly? Shoot, my lighter just went flying. Well, why did you give it the light the lighter? Really? <sighs> Amber. And by in. Can be in by in, bro. Peaches. Elsewhere. Believe me, I don't know half of them either, guys, so we're all in the same boat. Go ahead, Amber. Swallow a cat? Peaches. No. <laughs> Peaches Grace, then elsewhere, then Cherry, then Crystal. The old lady who swallowed a fly, what did she swallow after the fly? A spider. That is correct. Peaches. Peaches, nine of spades. Wow, we got a whole bunch of people getting answers tonight. Hold on. I'll use a second half of page of paper now. <laughs> Carly goes, Scary, those nursery rhymes for kids? Like, how on earth are the generation of creepy serial killers with that mess in their heads? Read, <laughs> read the, some of the original uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales and see how just how creepy. Guys, if you ever get a chance, go to your library or even even... The thing and go look at the find the original Grimm's fairy tale, not not the watered down American version, but the original book. It's nasty, nasty. I don't know how kids survived back then. I just don't. Someone recorded that song, Johnny Cash, maybe. No idea. All right, question number seven. Don't know this one either. What happened to Solomon Grundy on Sunday? 
I know Solomon Grundy from the Super Friends. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't but know. I don't know what he does on Sunday. Yeah, what happened to Solomon Grundy on Sunday? Yeah, Grimm's fairy tales are morbid. You are right, Carla. <clears throat> no idea. Anybody know about Solomon Grundy? And we're in. Amber Ann, Tanya, nope, not Tanya, elsewhere, Cherry, go ahead, Amber. Did you forget to pull this out of here? Oh, that was in with the car, so I don't think we should pull that one. Go ahead, Amber. What happened to Solomon Grundy on Sunday? Grundy on Sunday. Nope, didn't mean to buzz in. So, the next one would be elsewhere. It's all right, Amber. Next one is easy. And you're right, Carla. Seriously made Poe Hitchcock and King look mild. Born. Oh, yeah. Born. No. No. Cherry. And then Crystal. So Cherry doesn't get it. You're next, Crystal. What happened to Solomon Grundy on Sunday? No idea. Buried on Sunday. He was buried on Sunday. Very good, Cherry. Ace Cherry, of Hearts. Cherry, Ace of Hearts. Now, a word from our sponsor. Oh, I got Amber in two different places. I'm going to have to add, fix that. All right, Cherry. Ace he died. of Hearts. Buried on Sunday. Yeah. All right, question number eight. Better have that trigger finger ready. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? I don't know how they mix those the, those those more obscure ones in with this simple one. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Do you know what that was about? Jack and Jill? I know what they want to go get on the hill. <laughs> All right, let's see. Amber Ann, Karen, Chloe's mom, Peaches, everybody's blowing it up. Oh, yeah, well, that's that's the easier one. Go ahead, Amber. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I combined Amber somehow. Actually, it's about what's her name in Marie Antoinette who lost her head. Oh, my. Fetch a pail of water. That's correct, Amber. Ten of spades, Amber Ann. To get to the liquor store. All right, one more card, Amber Ann. Really? Did not know that, Danielle. What? So did you know that a male opossum is called a Jack and a female is called a Jill? I just learned that. A male what? A male possum. Oh, possum. A possum is called a Jack and a female is called a Jill. Oh. Say so I learned something new. I only know the dirty version of, okay. of Jack and Joe, but we ain't doing that here. Oh, my God. Question, Question number nine. How many blackbirds were baked in a pie in Sing a Song of Sixpence? Sing a Song of Sixpence. I'm not saying the answers. Six pop right. Right. How many blackbirds were baked in a pie and sing a song of six pets? Karen, Jason, Carla, Amber Ann. Go ahead, Karen. Why, you do it. I'm back here on the, on the screen. 
Hey, Ag Wild. Who? New? <laughs> Somebody new? Mm hmm. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're doing uh, Nursery Run Trivia. Four and 20. Karen got it. Yep, four and 20. 24 blackbirds. Ag. Hang on. Karen, can you put the uh, rules back up for the new people that just came in? That was Karen with a K? Yep. Okay. Question number 10, which concludes part one. And then I'm going to look for some multiple choice, folks. How many days old do some people like their peas porridge? How many days old do some people like their peace porridge? I would have known this one. Amber. Jason. Elsewhere. Karen. And error? What the freak does that mean? No, you're okay. You didn't know. It's okay. It's fine. Nine. That is correct. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. Some like it in the pot. Nine days old. And what is it? What is it? Five of hearts. Five of hearts. Amber Ann, you've got your five cards on. Amber Ann, go sit on the couch. Observe. All right. Short intermission. Do you want me to ask some of mine? Well, I didn't have multiple choice. She wanted multiple choice. All right. Here's a couple of mine. We're going to keep going. Yeah, okay. Well, I have to... When she goes to multiple choice. But the nursery the rhyme. One, two, buckle my shoe is a great... A yeah. Let's try that one more time. One, two, buckle my shoe is a great way to learn to count to ten. What rhyme is used for number 10? Okay. Are you drawing cards for these? Yes. Okay. Peaches. Rhonda. Melissa. Elsewhere, Ag, Ag Wild, Crystal, Jason, Cherry, Karen, Canada Karen. Okay, we're back. <coughs> Who answered? <clears throat> Peaches, then, then Rhonda. Okay, so Peach got it. Ten, seven of hearts. Who got that? Peaches. Okay, next one. When little Jack Horner sat in the corner, what was he eating? I can't do this one either. Because it doesn't let me download it. Yes. Thank you. Hey, long hair. Carla. And Cherry. Jason, Rhonda, Karen.
No, not curds and whey. When little Jack Horner sat in the corner, what was he eating? Oh, too far. Hang on, let's do it this way. It's just easier. Go ahead, Rhonda. Hurts away. No. And Roche is from the Philippines, by the way. Okay, welcome. Brenda, I can't find multiple choice, or I can't find multiple choice that have the answers. Curds and way. No. Turds and way. Go ahead, Karen. Give it a shot. Here's the horrible truth about nursery farms. No. No? Well, Rhonda got it close, so I'll give it to her. It was actually a Christmas pie. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He pulled in a thumb, pulled out a plum, and said, What a good boy am I. This alleged tells the story of how Bishop of Glastonbury hid the deeds of several manors in a pie and sent them to Henry VIII as a bride to save Glastonbury Abbey. The carrier, Jack, or Thomas Horner, stole the deed of Mel, a manor that was still owned by the Horner family in the 20th century. <clears throat> Next one. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, what did Jack do? Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack. Elsewhere. Jumped over the candlestick. Very good. Elsewhere got six of hearts. Okay, I, I hope nobody else did. Let's see if you guys get this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The regal man knows he has some of these people around, but they are missing. He's calling for the three of them. Three of them. What does he want? His soldier, his cook, his servants, or his fiddlers? That's funny, Jason. Elsewhere. Karen. <coughs> Egg. <coughs> Jerry. <coughs> Fiddler's straight. Elsewhere. Elsewhere, five, five of clubs, right? Yep. Okay, next one. My son was a baby. There was a nursery room that I would sing him every night. Can you fill in the missing word? Twinkle, twinkle. Elsewhere. Wow. How many she got? Elsewhere has three. Elsewhere. Rhonda, Peaches, Jason, Karen. Little moon. You want to see a big moon? I'm kidding. <laughs> Little star. Very good. Did you know that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star had six verses? It was written by two English sisters, Jane and Ann Taylor, in 1806. 
The Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland sings a version of it at the Mad Tea Party. A number of famous musicians, including Mozart's have written musical versions of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Who got this? Elsewhere. Two clubs. Yeah, I can't find multiple. Ah, you're funny, Danielle. All right, next one. How did the farmer's wife injure the three blind mice? Elsewhere, and Peach's Grace. Yeah, we saw it. Thanks, Karen. Cut their tails off with a carving knife. Who is this? Elsewhere. She has five. Four hearts. She got five? She does. Elsewhere, All go right. sit on the couch. Go sit with Amber Ann. Go sit with Amber Ann. <clears throat> we just picked up a troll, but Karen got it. Little Miss, little Miss Muffet, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. No, not Miss Muffet. Who should be in this rhyme? All right, Amber Ann. Jason. Rhonda. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Welcome. We're doing um, trivia. All right, Carla, take care. Love you much. Good night, Carla. Say hello to John. All right, I gotta get my chat hot back up. Little boy blue. Yep, there you go. Little Ronda got it. Little Ronda boy blue. That. Little Ten boy blue. Diamonds, Ronda. Where's Rhonda? Rhonda. We're doing nursery rhyme trivia, Leslie, so jump in anytime you want. Rhonda. Ten of diamonds. Next one. Which nursery rhyme is about a mouse running up and down a clock? <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Why am I yelling? Thank you, Karen. Hi, Mike and Tam. Hey, Mike and Tam. How are you? Rhonda and Jason. Peaches Grace. Leslie. Rhonda, then Jason, then Peaches, then Melissa, Troll. Hickory Dickory Doc, she got it. Who? 
Rhonda. Six clubs, Rhonda. Hickory Dickory Dock was first published in 1744, and evidence suggests it began in America. It was also denied the name Hickory Dickory Dock because the title's a nonsense rhyme. We already did that one. Who went to the pantry to get her favorite pet a tree only to find the shelves empty? Who went to the pantry to get her favorite pet a tree? Jason. Peaches, Karen, Rhonda, Leslie. Jason got it. Jason got it, old Mother Hubbard. Yep. Yeah. Jason, six of diamonds. Doing good? All right, it all began with an egg and a riddle. This egg, which somehow fell off a wall, has been mortalized by Lewis Carroll in his book, Alice Adventures Through the Looking Glass. What is the title of the nursery rhyme? <laughs> the bakers, you're not the butchers, the bakers, Rhonda. But then the dog died anyway. <laughs> Karen, Rhonda, Melissa, Peaches Grace, Jason. Go ahead, Jace. Did you find trivia? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Humpty Dumpty. Correct. Who is that? Karen. Karen, Ace of Spades. All right. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Old dear Johnny Green did a very cruel thing when he put a cat into a well, but fortunately a kind lad came to the rescue and pulled her out. Who was this helpful boy? I like the format of the ones I found because it doesn't hey, see the answer when I need to see the answer. Dude, I told you to look the one I have. I am looking. Karen. Karen, go ahead. Like I have to take the quiz before I can do it, but then I can't see the multiple choice qu things anymore. See if she gets it. All you, Karen. Oh, AG, okay. Go ahead, AG.
Not little boy blue. Anybody? All right, you're going to have to do this because I can't. Uh... All right, give me two seconds. <laughs> and I will pick up the next set. Okay, Amber. I know people would know that rhyme. All right, you guys will know it. I'll give it to you. It's Thomas Stout. Okay, I dropped my page, so it's up to you. Yeah, Thomas Stout. Hey, Andy. Thomas Stout. So elsewhere got it, but she uh, she's already out. Yes, you're still on the couch. <laughs> did you find more? I did. Only some of these we've asked, so I might have another five. Okay. If that's okay. Thanks, Andy. I don't know who pulled it out. All right. Bonnie will now start asking questions again. Yeah, I've only got a couple here. I, and it, it does, I'll, it's okay. All right. Question one. Well, I don't even know. It could be question 30 by now. But <laughs> anyway. In the nursery rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe, what do you do on five, six? One, two, buckle my shoe. What do you do on five, six? How are you, Andy? Peaches Grace, Rhonda. D. Karen D. Melissa Jason. Wait, which? Go ahead, Peaches. Pick up sticks. Correct, Peaches. What does she have? Ten of hearts. I'm good. My van's not. Blew, blew, blew the alternator, but is what it is. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Who were the three men in the nursery rhyme Rub-a-Dub-Dub? Peaches, Rhonda, Rub a Dub Dub, three men in the tub. Who were the three men? Leslie, Melissa, all right, Crystal, that's fine. It happens. <laughs> D goes Larry Bow and Curly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Baker the Butcher and the Boy Down the Lane. What? No? No. So who is next? Peaches. Rhonda. Three men in a tub. Who were they? That's funny, Mike. What is this guy trying to do with it with his car? Well, he was parked on the other side. Lights off. I don't even know how he's seeing out the windshield because that looks either all iced or fogged up. Completely fogged up. Rhonda! 
and then he turned it on and did a Yui. With a completely frog wind. Rubba dub dub, three men in the tub. Who are the three men? Karen from Canada, answer that question. Yep, Rhonda said butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Okay. That is correct. The butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. King of Hearts, Rhonda. But we're doing it in the tub in the first place. Okay. Uh, next question. In the nursery rhyme, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. What type of shells help Mary's garden grow? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. contrary. What type of shells helps Mary's help Mary's garden grow? Peaches. Peaches, Rhonda, Danielle. <laughs> it's funny, Liz. Turtle shells. No. no. Give it a shot, Leslie. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Why am I so far behind on this? Cockle shells. Yep. That is correct. Four of diamonds. Who is that? Leslie. RB5. Leslie. Four of diamonds. Yay, you're on the board. <laughs> okay. Next sure. question. What is the boy doing under the haystack in the nursery rhyme, Little Boy Blue? Little Boy Blue. What is the boy doing under the haystack in Little Boy Blue? All right. Peaches, Rhonda. Sorry about that, guys. Peaches, Rhonda. Peaches and Rhonda. And Melissa, Crystal. Sleeping. Hello? That is correct. Sleeping. Peaches. Ace of Diamonds, Peaches. Where are you, Peaches? Okay. One more card. Hey, Lady Base. <laughs> I don't want to know. Oh, I wish to see. I can't. What? I have to click answers. Hang on. Do you got it or do you need me to go further? You have another one? You can answer. Not a whole nother quiz, but... No, but I do have other questions. Yeah, we can't do too many more. And this just went completely on me. Hang on. Do, 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 do. How are you, D? Nope. And nope. Page three. Yeah, give me a minute here. All right, next question. What is the first line of the nursery rhyme for which the second line is, I met a man with seven wives? P. What? What is the first line of the nursery rhyme for which the second line is, I met a man with seven wives? P. 
Mike and Tam. Crystal. Husby says it's unlucky man. I went to Utah. What? I erased P. What? Going to St. Ives. Okay, he's got it. I'm set. Rhonda, I finally found a multiple choice. Three of spades, who? Uh, Mike and Tam. You got yours. All right, I'm up and running with, and this is uh, multiple choice. Actually, last set. Danielle, that's not my neighbor's dog. That's actually down the hill. That's how clear it is here tonight, cold. Okay, Bonnie's now up. All right, folks, last set of questions, I believe, for the evening. Here's multiple choice for you, Rhonda. According to the nursery rhyme, which bridge is broken down? Is it the London Bridge, the Golden Gate, the New Market, or the Covered? Which bridge is broken down? Peaches Grace. D. Peaches Grace again. No, Peaches Grace, Rhonda. D. Melissa. I only need one X, Peaches. None. Excuse me. London Bridge. Right? I'm sorry, what? London Bridge. Yeah, correct. What do we got? Seven of Diamonds for whom? Peaches. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stuffy nose. Seven of so Diamonds. I like to wear bunny Peaches. or the wear rabbit. Not the wear bunny, the run wear rabbit. Peaches, that was your fifth card. Peach, you go sit on the couch. Hang out with elsewhere. And, um, Amber. Amber Ann. We don't have too, too many more here. Okay. This one, we may have some that people know and some that people don't. And that's all okay. So, and no question number two in this set. In the poem, Diddle Diddle Dumping, John has something on and something off. What is the poem talking about? Is it talking about mittens, shoes, socks, or gloves? I don't know that one. No idea. Diddle diddle dumping. John has something on and something off. Are they talking about mittens, shoes, socks, or gloves? Hi, you're funny, Melissa. Hey, I didn't want that. <coughs> Mitten, shoes, socks, or gloves? Crystal. Just the crystal. Crystal and Karen. Shoes. That is correct. One shoe off and one shoe on. Six of spades. That's Crystal. Crystal. All right, Crystal. Crystal. Six of spades. Question three. How many men does the Grand Old Duke have, according to the rhyme? So there's a rhyme, Grand Old Duke. How many men does he have? 6,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000. No idea on this one. Rhonda. Rhonda, Melissa. Rhonda and Melissa. Anybody else? Crystal? 
10,000. 10,000 men. Dave told me. <laughs> That's okay. What do we have? Five of spades. Rhonda, Rhonda, where are you? One more card, Rhonda. Let's see if we can get four people on the couch tonight. <laughs> Let's go shut up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Are you ready? Next question. In the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. What does the fine lady have on her toes? Diamonds, slippers, bells, or rings? Good night, Nameless. Have a good night. Be safe. In the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. What does the fine lady have on her toes? You were supposed to, to give the answers for, remember, what? multiple choice. I, yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't say? No. I'm sorry. The, the multiple choice uh, question. Sorry. Diamonds, slippers, bells, or rings? Sorry. So it's Melissa, Crystal, Melissa and Crystal. What does the five Karen. lady have on her toes? Diamonds, slippers, bells, or rings? Rings. Yes, that's, uh, no. What no. Is, what does the fine lady have on her toes? Not rings. Go ahead, Crystal. Diamond slippers, bells, or rings? It's all right. Bert BTG says D. Martin, Martin boots. <laughs> Oh boy. And a handy said condoms. <laughs> Not one of the multiple choices. Nice guess though. Bells. That's correct. She had rings on her fingers There's and bells, bells on, on her toes. toes. Who is this? That would be Crystal. Crystal. Eight of hearts. How far is Crystal in? She's got two. Okay. Okay. Next question. It's four minutes and five. Hushabye baby. What breaks what breaks causing the cradle to fall? And the answers are a rope, a chair, a bow, or a ladder. Hush a bye baby, what breaks causing the cradle to fall? A rope, a chair, a bow, or a ladder? Karen, and then Crystal. All right, uh, Amber. Is Amber going? No, you don't have to be present to win there, punks. <laughs> no, Amber Ann. I'll let you know. Tell Steven to hi. Send our love. Be safe. Go ahead, Carwin. Oh, okay. Rhonda, sorry. You're right, it popped up on my thing. It's Rhonda, then Melissa, then Karen. A rope, it should say, it should be bow. It says B-O-W, though, so that's why I didn't get it. So a rope, a chair, a bow, a ladder. Go well, ahead, Melissa. Bow, not bow. No, Rhonda, Melissa, Karen, Crystal, okay. Rhonda. Yep. I saw it, Karen. Sorry. Yep, what? She got it. What is it? A bow. Yes. Who got it? Rhonda. 
Rhonda. Right it sounds like who's on first, what's on second. I don't know third base. Rhonda, move on over to that couch. Rhonda, Amber, off to the couch. Amber, elsewhere, peaches, make room for Rhonda. I don't know, Vince. I don't know. <laughs> A couple more guys, and then we're going to tally up. In the rhyme, hey diddle diddle, who runs away with the dish? The knife, the dog, the spoon, or the cow? Hey, diddle, diddle, cat. Okay. Who runs away with the dish? The knife, the dog, the spoon, or the cow? So it's Danielle, Melissa, Leslie, Crystal, Karen, and Mike. <coughs> Leslie, how's your weather out there? Are you cold like us here? It's winter, Bob. Everybody's cold. No, but it'll give me a <laughs> be able to. Even poor Carlos cold. Spoon. That's correct, and the dish runs away with the spoon. spoon. Who is this? Danielle. Danielle, Jack of Diamonds. I don't know that we've had this many people getting quick. I haven't moved to a second page here. What was it? Six of diamonds? Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds, Danielle. Okay. Next question. In the nursery rhyme, hickory dickory dock, what time is the clock striking when the mouse runs down? One, ten, five, or four? Okay, Leslie, thank you. Sixteen degrees. God, Crystal. She says, I had to sing that to remember the answer. D. Melissa, Leslie, Karen. Hickory dickory dock. What time is the clock striking when <laughs> the funny, mouse Mike. runs down? One, ten, five, or four? I need some diamonds in my life. <laughs> four. No? No. Melissa. One, ten, or five. <coughs> Melissa, Melissa. Clock's broke. Well, then fix the damn clock. And then two more questions. Ten. No. No. Leslie. One or five. One or five, Leslie. Hickory dickory dock. What time is it when the mouse runs down? These batteries. <laughs> That's true, Danielle. Last guess, 50-50. Clock strike one, downy run. Yep. Hickory dickory dock, Leslie. Leslie, Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades, Les. Jack of Spades. Interesting fact, that poem dates back to 1744. <whistles> yeah, interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. In the nursery rhyme, This Little Piggy, it involves five pigs. What does the third pig eat? Roast beef, stew, apple pie, pumpkin pie. What does the third pig eat? Hmm. Interesting. Fitz says almost as old as him. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie. I think I got your beat there, Vince. Go ahead, Leslie. Then Crystal. Then Karen. Then D. And then Mike. Mike. Candy. Guys, there's something that I'll tell you. Roast beef. That is correct, and the fourth piggy doesn't get any according to the rhyme. Who? Leslie. Leslie, three of clubs. Three of clubs. I think we got one more question. 
We got one more question, folks. In the famous rhyme about Jack Spratt, what can Jack not eat? Chicken, fat, beef, or apples? Jack, Jack Spratt. Spratt. What can Jack not eat? Chicken, fat, beef, or apples? Leslie. Mike. Crystal. And he goes pork chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. All up to you, Leslie. What can Jack not eat? Couldn't eat fat. He could not eat fat, and his wife could not and eat he'd lean. lean. Who got this, Leslie? Yep. Seven Leslie. of diamonds. That's spades, Bob. Spades. All right, folks. Wow, we had some great participation tonight. All right. I had a gonna... lot of names written down here. All right, let's see who wins. And we actually have four people in the five card club here. All right, give me a minute to look look at this. I'm just gonna start. Talk among it yourself. Okay, everybody, keep track of what I'm saying because you know I lose I lose track. Amber had four of spades, queen of diamonds, ace of clubs, ten of spades, five of hearts, no pairs. Let's see if anybody had a pair or better yet. Elsewhere, three of diamonds, six of hearts, five of clubs, two of clubs, four of hearts, no pairs or any, no straights, nothing there. <coughs> Peaches, nine of spades, seven of hearts, ace of diamonds, ten of hearts, and a seven of hearts. Nope, couldn't have been a seven of hearts. Seven of diamonds, I'm sorry. Peaches has a pair of sevens, hold that thought. And Rhonda has a ten of diamonds, six of clubs, king of hearts, five of spades, queen of hearts. Well, we had some great high cards. Peaches has a pair of sevens. Nobody else has a pair. Nobody else has a straight or a flush. Peaches. It looks like Peaches is winning with a pair of sevens and an ace high. Congratulations, Peaches. You won. Woohoo, Peaches! And Peaches, yes, we know we know about Planet Nine, but she Do you have email, Peaches? Peaches, you have email? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up my email address. It's electronic, so that's that's a good thing. But you're gonna have my chat is Woohoo! Oh, my chat's way back on turtle shells. I better uh, refresh this. Or I'll be here forever. Who's the next one? Because Peaches says she's on. Hang on. Go this way. Is she reneging? Not reneging. What's the word? Forfeiting? As you know, mail service is out on Planet Nine. Yes, it doesn't have to be mailed. It's all electronic through email. Is that also out of order? I do, but can I forfeit this time? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Or you can land it on somebody. Who's the next one? Who's the next tie? Uh, well, now you're going to have to give me a minute. I'll Hang on, we'll see who was next tie. Because we had no, uh, no pairs or anything, so... 20, had, minus 27 degrees Celsius. Amber had an ace high and a queen. Let's see. Elsewhere. That's what we're looking at right now, Peaches. not have any high cards. Rhonda. Rhonda had a king of hearts and a queen. So Amber Ann has the ace of clubs and five of hearts. So it would be Amber So Ann. that would be Amber Ann if we're going by. All right. Amber Ann was second. But you already have her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll connect with her. Yeah, it's cold everywhere. Right now here, Vince, it is... Uh, it is... Peach is very sweet, very sweet. I will let Amber Ann know. 17 degrees. Very nice. Yeah, we heard that too, Crystal. We're keeping our eyes on it. Yeah, we're watching it. 
Very sweet of Peaches. Thanks, Peaches. Yeah. I think Amber Ann had to leave, but I'll connect with her um, on Facebook. Do I have idea how to work on there? Let me look it up. 23 degrees there, Vince. You have 23 degrees, Vince. They're not warming up. Vince, tomorrow, 50. 50 Thursday, 51 degrees. Friday, but 100% chance of rain and 60 Friday night. No, do not, no. No, don't do that, Crystal. Love you, but no. Mm -mm. Tired of snow. And the funny part of it is with Vince, his temperatures, that nighttime temperatures drop like drastically. Yeah, but your nighttime temperatures, Vince, like Wednesday night, 27, Thursday night, 36, Friday, 34, and then Saturday night, 32. I mean, that's a big drastic shift between 50 and 36, 20 here tonight. I'm glad, Peaches. Do you know what Vince's dew point is? Okay. 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. That's insane. That's cold. Yeah, I mean, we've had some snow here, Crystal, but not anything like me. I mean, granted, we had that two foot, but. January 21st, 1985. Here you go, Vince. January 21st, 1985. Record all-time low temperature January 21st. Tri-City, minus 25 or 21 degrees. Knoxville, minus 24 degrees. And Chattanooga, minus 10. It even made it down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit in Orlando and 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in Miami. Damn. You want it, Andy? I'll be more than glad to wrap it up for you, firm. I'll be more than glad to. Can't stand the snow. Can't stand the cold. Amber, congratulations. You won, hon. Is she on? Yes. Oh, Amber Ann. I just Facebooked you. <coughs> so there you go. Thank Peaches. Peaches actually won, but she forfeited it. You had come in second. Second. Nice game, everybody. I want some administrative pay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's cold, Leslie. Aw, Peaches. Sweet. Hey, Andy. Sorry I didn't see you earlier. I did hear Bob mention you, though. Leslie, if you don't mind, can you give me your zip code? I want to check something real quick. Who? Leslie. Oh. If she don't mind giving me your zip code. Amen, Vince. Strictly volunteer basis here. <laughs> Four five zero zero five. Four five zero zero five. Thanks, Leslie. Hey. Four five zero zero five. Four five zero zero five. Know the feeling, Andy. It gives me a center. It's twenty three degrees, Leslie. No winds. 
Good night, peaches. Again, congrats again, because you won. Les, like, hi. <coughs> I love you. Understand this. Thursday night, going in, 60% chance of rain and snow. Then rain and snow likely. Friday, 43, 90%. Friday and Friday night, rain, then likely chance of rain and snow. Uh, Saturday, same way, 50-40. So you're running from Thursday night all the way into Saturday. Amber Ann, please remember to check Facebook. Good night, Andy. Love you. Good night, Andy. Nice, Vince. Rub it in. What did he say? I'm standing outside now. Shut up, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's shut. Shut up, Vince. We just went to Kroger. Almost froze it out. I don't want snow. We don't want any either. I think you're going to have a mixed bag, Leslie. I think you'll have it on and off, but I think you'll have more rain. She just, she just went to go. Almost froze to death. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. What are you running? Oh, Karen, I'm oh, sorry Karen. to hear that. Of course, prayers always. Prayers and love and big hugs to you and the family. Okay, Amber Ann. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Melissa. That's because you're short. <laughs> but good well, things come in small packages. She is short, but I still think it's because the snow is way too much snow. God bless you guys up there with all that snow. Crystal. We complain when we get five or six inches. Hang on, Crystal. 48049. Oh, no. No. What did you just do? Oh, Lily. Hi, honey. How are you up there in that, like, 85,000 feet of snow? <laughs> That's just really nice. Have you snow tunneled out yet? I know you do, Melissa. So does Lily. But you're short. I'm short too. It's okay. But you do have a boatload of snow. Lily, are you warm and safe and, and tunneled out? Sorry, guys. Pray. We had a great turnout tonight. Great participation. I love that. Crystal, give me your, your zip code again. Lots of thumbs up. That's good, too. Karen, you're 26 degrees. Friday rain. Thursday night into Friday. But your temperatures are holding at about 40s. Well, at least you're singing while you shovel, Melissa. Oh, God bless you guys. I'm sure on some level you're used to it, but my goodness. All right, Lily, that's good to hear. Four eight oh four nine four eight. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. Melissa and Lily singing as they shovel. Every day I'm shoveling, shoveling, shoveling. Every day I'm shoveling. I can't. 25 degrees, Crystal. Rain and snow mix Friday night. And then Saturday, rain, snow likely. And then Saturday night, chance of snow. Nothing major. Yeah, we are supposed to too, Amber Ann. I don't know when, though. Thursday. Yeah. Here. Oh, at least, Rhonda, I know. It'd be a nightmare with this. Where my sister is up off the, on the mountain there, off Weir's Valley Road. She always, like, if she gets three inches, four inches, she's, she's up there. Like, there's no coming down off that. She's every day I'm shoveling, <laughs> shoveling. Lily's singing with you, Melissa. Every day I'm shoveling, shoveling. Oh, Melissa. Oh, my God. That's funny. 
Popeye the Sailor Man. It is spinach, but only on the left side. Unbelievable. It's cold. It is cold. It's cold you know, all cold over. Cold is one thing, Bob. They have 4,000 feet of snow. Did you see the pictures? I saw the pictures. I saw the videos. Yes, I saw Did all these pictures. See? The snow banks are taller than me. Which doesn't say a whole lot, but... Chronicles do do. Unbelievable. This weather has been so messed up. Hang on a minute. I'll try something here. I think my our state would be closed for business if we had that kind Try of snow. snow. <laughs> Those people just laughing at me. That's what it looks like to me, Melissa. It might as well be. Cover at half Lily's house, for God's sake. I'm going to try something here to see if I can get this back to where I want it. You do when you stumble it. <laughs> it keeps you warm, a little bit of warm air. Keeps your buns warm. Yeah, there it is. Found it. No, I know, Amber Ann. My sister does. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get snow. I gotta go prepare to be in for a week. How much are you getting? Oh, three inches. Coming off of California. Us New Yorkers, that's a walk in the park. But I'll tell you what, Miss Lily and Melissa have. Oh, heck no. Jeremy, coming, I hibernate. coming off the, the Gulf, coming off <laughs> into Texas and up. Monterey pepper jack mashed potatoes. Oh, sounds so good. Crystal. Oh, Crystal, absolutely. That sounds so good. Unbelievable. Tootsie Canada just caused a fog of frozen gas. <laughs> you guys are so good, uh, I'll tell you. <coughs> yeah. Milk and bread, milk sandwiches. There you go. <coughs> no wonder why Leslie's freezing. Awesome BTD. We just got a new one. Bob hasn't even unpacked it yet. Now I know why you're cold, Leslie. There's nothing over the top of you all the way all the way to us. No cloud cover at all. All the way down into <laughs> Florida. Cold air. Yes, Rhonda, we are talking snow and toots and food. And shoveling and singing. Unbelievable. Because we are just crazy like that. That's nuts. I'll have to post this. I'll have to post it. That's good, Lily. But I, I, I imagine that that's... <coughs> it's really me. great, you know, considering the amount. Or start to, <laughs> some people eat the whole Melissa. Yeah, oh. I'm sure you are, Leslie. That's why it's so cold. There's no cloud cover all the way to us. That's a long haul. BTD no wonder why butter, it's so cold sugar there. Buddies. Those are sandwiches. Leslie, I can tell you what, if you do get snow, I can send Buddy. He can you can um, hook him to the sled for the kids. <laughs> what is a sugar buddy? Butties. Butties? Really? My grandmother used to make my one grandmother that I knew. I I grew up calling it sugar bread. She would take it, and then back then everything was white bread. And you would put some butter on it, and then you'd sprinkle a little sugar. bit of sugar. And she would dip it in her coffee. We called it sugar bread. Loved it. Danielle's got 16 degrees tonight. Holy crap, Danielle. Kids can play with Buddy. I'll ship them. No wonder <laughs> you and, and Carl are so cold. <sighs> oh, homemade sour cream? Buddy, Sarney, Slogger, Sandwich, take your pick. Well, what's, All right, a, Melissa. what's, a, what's a sugar sandwich? Free that Bob. I'm going to hook him to the shovel. I'll take Slogger. <laughs> yeah, that's cold, Danielle. <coughs> oh, I'm sure, Lily. One of Bonnie's co workers, she's like, I'm going to Florida. I said, For what? She goes, Get warm. I said, No, honey, you're not. It's cold down there, too. Yeah, with the wind chill. Holy it's Lord. Cold. That's not. Buddy nuts. shipped himself. Buddy shipped himself. 
Ah, cute. Play on words. <laughs> Butter and sugar. You, yep. See, that's I. I my grandmother used to do that. But she would dip it in her coffee. She would just butter a piece of bread, sprinkle some sugar on it, and dip it in her coffee. And I, I loved it as a kid. That and my mother would take bread and break it up in warm milk. And then you put a little bit of butter and some pepper. I, I don't... I Just At night, she would have it at stuff. night before she went to bed. We used to call it milk, milk toast. She would make... Sugar Buddy Bonnie. Maybe it wasn't bread. Maybe it bread. was toast. Sugar Buddy Bonnie. Sugar on bread. Okay. Just oh. sugar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my, my mother did that. She would warm Good night, milk. Amber Ann. Love you, too. She'd make toast, warm milk up, break the toast in the milk. Cinnamon toast. I love cinnamon toast, Vince. Love you, Amber Ann. Love cinnamon toast. The trivia's over. That's why I did the rest of that uh, banana bread I made. And while that Big Joe told me to make French toast out yeah. of it. And yeah, Big Joe and Malia, I made, when I made the big uh, banana bread, he told me to use the rest of it and make um, French toast out of it. Who has a lag? Bob has a lag? No, BTD does. Oh. Yeah, and butter. No, That's my grandmother. We called it sugar bread. Yeah, cinnamon toast is great, Leslie. Yeah, that's a lot of carbs, though, Bob. Well, you, we didn't know all that back then. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. So, yeah, it's cold. Is what it is. But my mom would make, we called it milk toast. Then it was warm milk with toast. Toast. You put the toast in. You added a little bit of butter. And you added some salt pepper or pepper. I don't know. Yeah. We go to Zitty at a young. Yeah, 100 miles an hour. He'll get nailed. Yeah, Bob made some the other day. Banana bread. I didn't eat my piece at work yet today. I'll get tomorrow. Know the feeling, Karen. Appreciate all of you. What did she say? I love you all. If it wasn't for you all helping me keep my spirits up, I'd be in a sad Oh, you're welcome. Oh my God, Melissa. You didn't pull the bag out? Oh. Okay, Ooh, well, hey. There was a bag up in there. Oh, my Lord. That's got all the gizzards in it. And the neck. Did you say lizards? No, I said gizzards. I thought you said lizard. Oh, too funny. Yeah, that's the big thing. Leslie, is the carbs. Tofu. Tofu turkey. <laughs> I don't know. You still eat Vinci poo? Just not bread or sugar? Or what? <laughs> I think you confused Bonnie, Leslie. I'm really a little confused, which is really quite common. Comical. Well, it might be comical, but it's quite common as well. That was a big step. All right, Melissa, I'm sorry. I won't pick on you. Clean your ears up. Oh, I wonder what was wrong with my battery. I will not pick on you because you did not know there was a bag up in there. I don't know. Never get to know. Oh, that's funny. It is funny. <laughs> oh, Lily. Oh, that's so funny. Pardon me. You guys are a riot, I'll tell you. No. Karen, we, we have... <laughs> we've been saying... How many times have we said, Oh, we're going to be doing all this stuff, guys. But it, it's been crazy with a house full. You know, it's been, it's been a little bit hard. Oh, I could never do lobster. I can't put a live thing in boiling water. Can't do it. I don't care if it looks a crustacean. I can't do it. Um, 
cannot, will not refuse. <coughs> um, <coughs> but Karen, I think that, um, <laughs> with your towel on, I think that once, you know, Felicia and the kids are moving out, um, in the next, well, two weeks, I mean, technically they're going to get their keys tomorrow and, uh, start bringing some stuff over, but soon, BTD, too soon. I'm going to miss that little man. He's still going to come and spend Thursday nights with us, and then I'll have him on Friday, um, because it's the one day her and her boyfriend have their schedules worked out, so they don't have the same days off together. Um, so, like, she's off Monday, Tuesday, he's off Wednesday, Thursday, and then, uh, Russell come here on Thursday night and Friday. Yeah, it definitely is going to be Karen. But, you know, with that said, it's kind of bittersweet because I'm definitely, definitely going to miss them. Um, but I also, we, we need some space back. And, well, yeah, it does wrinkle up in there, Melissa. We definitely need some space back. It's been hard to really focus and do what we want to do because there's just so much happening all the time. So, you know, things here should calm down a little bit. Buddy should calm down a little bit. Um, you know, and it'll be a little bit easier for us to focus and really, really start moving forward with all this stuff. She had asked when you were going to start vlogging some of your collections. Soon. Yeah, we, I, we've been saying it, I know, for a Who long asked time. if I was vlogging? Karen. Karen. You know. Yeah. As soon as things calm down a little bit here, I'll get to it. Oh, cute, Lily. Did anyone ever see the, the video? That's where, funny, Lily. Which I thought was horrible but hysterical at the same time. Where this mother took a, um, oh my God, what are they? Little Cornish hen? Okay, Karen. Um, <laughs> Cornish hen and put it inside the turkey. And then when they cut the turkey open, and she told her, her daughter, <laughs> her daughter that it was a baby, the turkey must have been pregnant or something. And oh my God, it was hysterically, it was horrible and hysterical at the same time. Bob, my power just dropped. You just shaved oh, his hair. Hair. How do you know what to vlog, what will grab? Crystal, I think, I mean, for us, it was kind of just sticking to what interests Bob. And then... BTD put it all in one, what two words. That? Imagination, Crystal. Yeah. And then, you know, as you start to do it, you see what works and what doesn't, you know? I mean, the group of people that we have on here have been awesome, and, and it's been, you know, we do a little of this, a little of that. We never, Bob never wanted to get caught up just doing one thing. thing. Yeah. Because he's not, he's so eclectic, you know? Um, one day he's interested in this, one day yep. he's interested in that. Trial and error, yeah. I mean, you've seen them with I mean, BTD there. said the same thing, short little clips. Yeah. I mean, that's... And so far, I mean, we've had a few things. That Actually, my big... You ready for this? Views on it was the roast pork in an air fryer. Yeah, and Crystal, change it up. You know, find what works. I mean, that's really... Yeah, and I think that's interesting for everybody, you know? Yep, that's that's real. Oh no! We're, yep, spinning. Oh no! Nope, I can fix it. Oh no! Just, just trying to reconnect. Just hold on. Yep. It should by now. There we go. It's back. Thank Sorry you. about that, guys. Good night, Mike. Love you much. Good night, Rhonda. Good night, Mike and Tam. So yeah, I found something that was. Worry about people, and we pray for you guys. And um, love you too, BTD. Have a good night. Night, BTD. Love you much. Be safe. Stay warm. You know, a lot of times Bob and I'll just sit here and be like, "Hey, have you seen so and so on lately?" Or I wonder how so and so is doing. So, I mean, that's the connections. That's that's what makes it. Yeah, like everybody asked about Cesar the other night. There, the one with the. Baby Mind video, he left a uh, uh, comment. Yeah. Haven't seen him in any of the live no, streams. No, I haven't seen him in any of the live streams. 
And the, the one that I worry about... Good night, Miss Lily. <laughs> Good night, Miss Lily. Yeah, I have to work in the morning, too. Is um, Johnny Moore, who everybody saw the one night. Um, and I haven't seen him. Yeah, he was since. on the other night. And um, Mikey's. Did you talk to him? Yeah. He was in Mike and Becca's for a while. All right, guys. Everybody's had it, so are we. Bonnie's got work in the morning. Everybody stay warm. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Have a great night. Have a great week. And we will see you Saturday night at 9. <laughs> I love you all, Misfits family. Night, night Miss Lily. Night, everybody. See, this is what... There we go.